Here's how to replace the thermal paste in a PlayStation 4. I'll leave a link in the description for the brand of thermal paste that we use, though there are many kinds that'll do the job. The only other thing you need once you've disassembled your system is some cotton swabs or something else to be able to wipe the old thermal paste away. So we're gonna begin just by removing the old caked on thermal paste. Easy peasy. And now we are going to apply a pea size amount of thermal paste on the center of that chip. I have a pea for reference, even though I personally think that's about twice as much as what we need. That should do it. It is better to have a little bit more than you need than less than you need. As long as you have enough, everything should be good to go. In this example, I used a board from a PS4 Slim, but everything I've said here applies to any PlayStation 4. Now that we have it on our board, we just flip it over and put it on evenly. We may have to set these ports under here first and then set everything on. From this point, we can reattach our brackets. I'd recommend getting both of them started. And then once it starts to get a little bit tight, doing a turn on each one until it's tight. And that'll help spread that thermal paste in there evenly. All right, there you go. Good luck.